the line between marketing and it's called marketing channels and business channels are becoming practically you know, the same thing. They are. The line between them is disappearing. And it's driven by two factors. Uh, one is globalization um, and the other one is convergence. Now, globalization is fairly quick and easy to explain. It's the case of brands are becoming inherently global. Uh, in other words, as soon as the internet arrived, as soon as content was placed on the internet, it became globally available. And as a result, every brand inherently became global. Um, and then the process, especially for multinational brands, of controlling how it is that they're seen in one country versus another, given the internet, is a very, very challenging problem. Of course, it's, it pre presents great opportunities for smaller brands to become global, but for multinational brands to manage that, very difficult. Um, and that's, that's shaped to a great extent how large network agencies work. And that will continue to shape how they work. The other slightly more relevant, certainly from a, let's call it a South African perspective, um, is the concept of convergence. And convergence, simply put, is um, how it is that whilst we've got huge fragmentation of media happening, in other words, there's different interfaces popping up and different ways of talking to people and doing business and so on, as they kind of keep splitting out and kind of get more complex, what ultimately is happening is marketing channels and business channels are converging. So the channel through which you speak to a consumer becomes the very same channel through which you transact with that consumer. And, and, and an obvious example of that, yes, is let's say a website. So a website, you're holding a communication, then you might be holding some form of marketing discussion, and then ultimately there might be some form of transaction. And it's all happening in the same place. So what was previously a sales channel is actually then a marketing channel becomes a communication channel. And that's just one example of something that really spreads out and becomes quite an interesting you know, kind of um, set of, of factors that are shaping, let's call it, how, how the industry is, is, fold, is unfolding. Now, how it is that businesses cater for convergence and how they leverage, um, leverage this is, is a key success factor. If you're a business that understands that you can, let's call it, better integrate these mediums, whereby you can both communicate and hold some form of business relationship and transact with somebody and keep that relationship consistent in your retail environment, in your online environment, um, even in your broader, let's call it, advertising environment, that's where the big win is. And what you then need to assist you to get there are obviously you know, service providers or marketing people who can think the same way, who can then look at a business channel and go, we're not just trying to tell a funny story here to get a bit of a smile. We've actually got to get somebody to want to transact with us. And then we've got to facilitate that transaction. And then we've got to ultimately you know, kind of end up delivering a product to somebody's door if that's the case. And that's, that convergence... Um, is something which will, on an ongoing, accelerated basis, shape what agencies do. Apple is an obvious but a very good example of an organization that has worked out how it is that it can converge a number of mediums to produce a single consumer experience and people both want, communicate and engage with the brand and buy it all the way through the same, what feels like a very singular experience. Then I think there's a big gap. And then you get to the very bottom, smaller businesses, SMEs, etc., which mostly due to constraint have to think very carefully and then are using very simple channels by which they are conversing with, 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 brand, with consumers and then ultimately using those channels to form some form of commercial relationship. So, you know, Facebook is a good example where you've got a very easy, accessible place in which you can form some form of branding relationship with a consumer as a small business. And then with two clicks and a button, you can end up ultimately selling somebody something off that type of platform. And I think in the smaller examples are doing really well and the larger examples are doing well. I mean, we're involved currently in, I guess, which is kind of a medium-sized example where we've placed, uh, or rather we're, we're working with what is ultimately an online content creation entity. So I would argue one of South Africa's more successful, if not most successful, you know, bloggers, which is Sizzle DIY. Um, and we're engaging with her around being able to communicate with consumers online. They can watch her engage with our product and at the end of that simply click a button and have it delivered to their door. And there is more engagement with her via YouTube and more clicks on that button with her via YouTube than what it is that we get in far more formal channels. Um, and it's a really interesting experience to go through.